Hey guys, another day and a new report from the CDC, this time on community spread and COVID-19. We talk a lot about community spread, but we rarely have a good example for what exactly it looks like, and the CDC gave us that example today. Looking at a cluster of infections between families in Chicago between February and March, this is before social distancing guidelines were put in place. So a reminder about that, but here's loosely how the story goes. It all starts with one person. A man who recently traveled out of state comes home, has very mild respiratory symptoms. We don't know exactly how he felt. Remember, it's Chicago in February. A lot of folks are walking around with the sniffles, but he felt well enough to attend a funeral and several days later attend a birthday party. At the funeral, what does he do? He does what everyone does at a funeral. He gives hugs, he shares a meal, and three days later at the birthday party, he does the same thing gives hugs, and shares a meal. What the CDC now believes is that at the funeral, he was able to spread COVID-19 to three different people. And then at the birthday party, he was able to spread it to another seven. In those new infections, those folks were able to spread it further. And a cluster of 16 COVID-19 cases overall blooms between these family groups. The ages of these patients range between five and 86 years old. And over the course of a month, three people die from COVID-19 from just this group alone. So why does this matter? It's a reminder about social distancing. This individual had no idea he was carrying COVID-19 and yet he was able to spread this virus amongst those he loved most. And the second thing, is a question about super spreaders. We've heard this term before, it's exactly how it sounds. Someone that's able to spread an illness, not just between one or two other people, but to dozens of other people. And that's what the CDC says they want to investigate further. Is that actually happening with COVID-19? Remember, he had symptoms, so he was likely actively contagious at these two events and was able to spread the illness that way. So. A reminder about why social distancing matters, even if you feel pretty much okay. And a new revelation perhaps about the ability for someone to be a super spreader, to spread the new coronavirus, not just from one to two other people, but amongst many. Questions, comments, let me know. As always, more on smarternews.com. Take care, guys.